I'm Nadia Rosenthal. I'm the director of the Australian Regenerative Medicine Institute at Monash University in Melbourne, and I also hold a chair in cardiovascular science at Imperial College London, and I work on regeneration. From where I stand as a medical researcher, the extraordinary uh, baby boomer uh, glut on the aging uh, end of the spectrum is going to change the way we have to think about our healthcare system. And specifically, the decrement in capacity as we get older definitely takes its toll not only on the individual but on the society with rising costs in medical care as we get older and more infirm. So my goal is to try to increase health span, to take people from where they are when they're in full capacity and move them towards their uh, later years and uh, allow them to mature in a way that does not compromise that capacity and allows them to contribute to society and not to reduce the, uh, the, the resources that we have but rather add to them. So that's the, that's the big social goal and on a much more prosaic level for, as a scientist we have to figure out what it is that aging actually means and we don't really understand as biologists what aging is. So I study aging and regeneration in a number of organisms to learn from those animals that can regenerate very, very well and try to apply those same principles to the human condition. I think the opportunities are um, really um, myriad at this point. We know a lot more about stem cells and they obviously contribute to the regeneration of organs. We have ways in which we can manipulate uh, factors and uh, even the tissues that we need to repair. So pulling all of these different disciplines together is really the job of the regenerative biologist and it's a very exciting new area which I think is going to bear fruit in the next 10 to 20 years. Well, as a scientist, we're trying to innovate all the time. I mean, that's the name of the game. If you're not creative, you're not really at the front. And it requires an interdisciplinary attitude, um, probably not as great as the interdisciplinary uh, uh, environment that uh, this Creative Innovations Conference uh, provides. And I'd like to see more scientists actually belonging to these conferences and spending time listening to people who come from other walks of life, because many of the same principles that lead to innovation in science are are already being practiced in other areas such as business or other areas. Do you think, uh, do you agree with Susan Greenfield's uh, notion that scientists have to get better at communicating? I think scientists uh, don't think they need to communicate. Um, I think many of them are quite good at communicating um, if they put their mind to it. Um, but the concept that it's important for them to go out to the rest of the world and to talk to the uh, people who actually are funding them with their tax money doesn't occur to many of them as part of the job. For me, it's the essence of the job. If I can't explain what I do to my mother, or to my niece, um, I'm not really going to be able to explain it to my funders. And so for me, the uh, art of, of communication is an absolutely critical part of the, uh, of the, of the job. I think scientists uh, don't think they need to communicate. Um, I think many of them are quite good at communicating um, if they put their mind to it. Um, but the concept that it's important for them to go out to the rest of the world and to talk to the uh, people who actually are funding them with their tax money doesn't occur to many of them as part of the job. For me, it's the essence of the job. If I can't explain what I do to my mother, or to my niece, um, I'm not really going to be able to explain it to my funders. And so for me, the uh, art of, of communication is an absolutely critical part of the, uh, of the, of the job. I was curious as a child. And uh, I always thought about pattern as something that I loved and understood and drew and painted, but I didn't really know how it came to be, especially in the biological world. And when I found out that people were actually studying these things, I ran like crazy to pursue that, assuming that I'd learn exactly how it all worked by the time I got out of university and I'm still here. Turns out we don't know how it works at all.
Uh, yes, it's, it's an adage and it's, it's a kind of an easy statement. I'd say uh, the more I know, the more I think I know how to address the questions that I don't know. And I try to train my students to think in very quick and active ways about getting through the part of the data that we know to get to that unknown part and really address it directly.